All right, we just got done talking about the features and benefits that were built into the Lopi Legacy wood stoves. Now you get an opportunity to see them burn, right, with this next-gen technology. What our one goal was this. How do we provide the best performing wood stoves that we've ever made, keeping our Lopi Legacy framework in place? And I think you can see from what we've done, we've done that. You've got a great low burn, you've got a great medium burn, and you've got a great high burn. So it gives you that versatility to be able to have a really brisk fire or an overnight burn. So we're getting great overnight burns, we get great efficiencies, and we get a great BTU range. We provided a, a list of stoves that are from the EPA list that talks about the BTU range from its lowest setting to its highest setting. And one thing that stands out is our stoves have a great range of BTUs between high and low, okay? Other stoves you'll see on that same list have a very narrow BTU range between high and low. What does that mean? It means that their stoves aren't very controllable. They have a, more of a single burn rate. I have, we have on these stoves, great controllability. Let's show you. So here's my Endeavor. It's got the air control open. I've just closed it. And now look at the secondary air start to burn. So between my primary air and my secondary air, I'm achieving this incredible fire. And it gives me just an amazing fire inside that firebox. Okay, same thing applies over here on my Lopi Liberty. I can take this fire, close the air control, and now look what I've done with my secondary burn. It's actually causing the flames to force themselves back down onto the fire. It's pretty dang incredible of what this stove can do. That's the controllability that's so important to the customer. Low burn, medium burn, and high burn, we say yes on all three of those levels. Well, our competitors are using more of a single burn rate. Some of them are even saying you control your fire by just how much fuel you put into the firebox. I can full this, fill this thing full of fire and still get a great low burn, a great medium burn, and a great high burn. So how do we do it? How, what tested methods do we use? As you know, there's two different ways to test a stove. One is crib fuel. Crib fuel is dimensional lumber, two by four or four by four, stapled together. I put seven pounds per cubic foot into the firebox, okay? I let that burn down to coals. Now I reload that stove with another fuel charge and then the test starts. So I started with a warm stove. A lot easier to get good numbers when I start with a warm stove. Kurt's direction to our research and development department was we're gonna test with cordwood. So now at 12 pounds per cubic foot of firebox, I load my firebox full of wood, full of cordwood, and then I strike the match. And that's when the test starts, is when the match is struck. So not only is it real world, it's also a more difficult test to, to make sure you can achieve the numbers you need to pass the 2020 standard. But we did it, right? We were able to do it with our next gen technology. Now we're gonna bring Kit back into the equation. We wanna show you a demonstration that we think is an important one to showcase on your showroom floor all the time. As you know, these uh, legacy stoves all have built-in convection, right? So convection happens regardless if the stove has an optional fan on it or not. But we wanna showcase to you what it's gonna look like using just a piece of tissue, right? So it showcases that even with no fan on, the fan's in the off position right now, you still get natural airflow that's moving through that stove, natural convection air that's moving around that firebox. Okay, so now we're gonna turn on. You're gonna our... have to turn that fan on pretty quick though. We're gonna... My hand's getting pretty hot. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's talk a little bit longer. No, so we're gonna turn this fan on, our optional 400 CFM fan, that's on the highest setting right there. And you'll see the kind of velocity of air that's moving through the, the appliance for now with the fan on high. Okay, yeah. so now maybe take a little break there for a second. Yeah, and I'll to turn move my fingers for a second. Down to low, because like, what's the biggest objection of someone with a fan on high? It might be too noisy. So here's a low setting, still going to move a lot of air for you, but at a much quieter application. But you'll see that it's still moving a great deal of air. That 400 CFM fan that's optional on both the Liberty and the Endeavor, and of course the Evergreen Cape Cod and Rockport. It's been a great addition to our lineup. People love it from the volume standpoint and how quiet it is as well. And it's that five-bladed fan that's the magic. That's where the quietness comes from. Instead of the old squirrel cage, squirrel cage style, that five-bladed fan really makes it quiet, especially on that low setting like John just demonstrated. So thanks for taking the tour with us on the wood stoves today. We're gonna continue on with the tour with the rest of the booth. Hey, enjoy the rest of the tour of the booth. It's exciting to show you all these new ideas and new products. Gotta get them on the floor so those customers see them. That's where the rubber meets the road.
That's where the sales happen. Thank you. Thank you.